Hey everyone, it's Mel and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the AV. In today's video, I will be just talking with you guys and doing another fun spring makeup look. Um, I don't know, I'm bored today uh, since, you know, we're all under quarantine, even though technically I was already under quarantine because I'm unemployed. Um, but I am bored, so I thought why not play in makeup and here we are and we're just gonna talk chit chat talk have a tutorial at the same time i don't really know where i'm going with this video i'm just winging it pretty much so <laughs> before we get started go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed to my channel already then hit the notification bell right next to it so you can be notified for whenever i upload a new video and be sure to like this video so i can make it on the youtube algorithm boom let's start <laughs> all right so before anybody comes for me in the comment section i know i need my nails done okay don't come for me i know that they need to be done and here we are all right so i'm still using the same jacqueline hill i know i said in my last video jackie my bad jacqueline hill palette and i'm also going to be using the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette as well. Or I just have it next to me just in case um, I want to dip into some colors. So let's just get started. So how are you guys doing with this quarantine life? I know that a lot of people are struggling right now because of finances and losing their jobs and things of that nature. And I know that it sucks. But I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people are very negative in this time frame. Of being quarantined because of the coronavirus and i don't know how i'm looking at it i see it more as a blessing in disguise like you're getting another do-over at the new year of you know whatever it is that you wanted to do this year you know what i'm saying so i don't know i feel like there's a lot of pros and cons to this coronavirus so I think some of the cons is the fact that people had trips planned and they had to go and cancel them and all these things. And I feel really bad for the people who had to cancel their trips. Again, I'm going in with tape to define everything. I did already do my eyebrows off camera. But yeah, the cons are definitely that people are having to cancel like weddings, cancel trips, birthday trips, um, and different things like that. So I feel like those are most of the cons. Also, some other cons are just the fact that people are losing mad money. Um, and to me, that just sucks. Like, And I feel so bad for the people who whose businesses were thriving and then now they're just not thriving anymore. I'm going in with the NYX Concealer Correct um, Contour Kit. And I'm going with the lightest shade on my lid. Like I mentioned in my last spring video, um, you want to allow your base to sit and you also want to use a base that is lighter than your skin tone. So, yeah. And then I'm going to also use my finger to kind of get it nicely packed in. Still learning how to do my makeup out here in these streets. Y'all might as well just learn with me. So leave in the comment section below what you guys have been doing during this quarantine time. So I'm gonna let the concealer sit for a little bit um, before we start adding on color to get pigment payoff. So in the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going in with the color Loli Mama. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here this pink color and i'm gonna use that as my transition shade but back to what i was saying <laughs> so um what was i gonna say i want to mention in this video that i just love being black i could honestly say i've been so entertained these last few days because of black social media <laughs> because of black instagram like we're really taking this whole being quarantined thing and just having fun with it and not letting it like get us down or 
be sad or anything like that and I could honestly say I'm truly truly enjoying like I kid you not I laugh every single day at like content and the things that people are posting on social media like it's wild like <laughs> it's so crazy as to what like people can come up with like people are so creative and I love our people not to say like anything bad of, about other cultures or anything like that but I could honestly say we're making the best out of being quarantined and having so much time on our hands so if you need to laugh all I'm gonna say is bring yourself to social media whether it be Instagram Twitter it doesn't really matter where you go I think you're gonna find some type of laughter somewhere so I'm just saying but it's been nice to see like people are able to spend time with their families and just stay indoors and just be home and be present like you guys we have time to be present right now like I don't know if you guys have noticed but like I feel like people were so wrapped up into their jobs and as soon as they were sent home it's kind of like what do I do now and I feel like that's kind of sad to not know what like you have so much else you have so much more to offer you know the world besides just going to work every single day but then I feel for the parents like because your kids are normally at school and now they're just everywhere you are and you <laughs> I know it's a lot I don't know what it's like to have kids but I, I commend the parents out there who have have children okay I don't know if you guys can tell but I feel like today I can see a better color payoff but yeah I'm praying for these parents out here in these streets I know y'all struggling keeping these kids entertained what job oh that color is very pretty Ooh. yes look at this color payoff today you guys This color payoff is coming through. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. This is a gorgeous color. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Hello. I think another con about just this coronavirus is like people's true colors are coming out. Like people who act like they're not afraid of anything, like it's showing that they're afraid. You know what I mean? Because you have no, like, why are you out here fighting people for a roll of toilet paper or for food? Like, if anything, you should be sharing it. You know what I mean? But then again, it's all about to each his own, right? So, yes for this color, y'all. I don't know what I was doing last video. <laughs> because this is gorgeous. Like... Oh, mes amis. Well, so I'm thinking about in the inner corner of going in with the color, not my journey, as I mentioned before. And I'm gonna go ahead and place that right here. I don't even think I wanna go anywhere else with this color. We just gonna keep it right in this corner. I don't know if that was the right brush to use for that, but we still learning out here in these streets. Okay, so I tried putting, <sighs> showing you guys my error. So I tried putting not my journey in this little area right here and I don't know it, it came out looking weird so I didn't bring it to this side yet because I don't want to mess up the makeup look because it looks decent so far but I'm gonna go in I'm gonna try it again and I'm gonna go in with not my journey because this purple is just so pretty this is what it looks like and I'm gonna try to just place it here which I literally just tried to do but then when I blended it out I lost the color so 
if any like real makeup gurus are watching me do this what did i do wrong why did i lose the color the first time am i not supposed to blend it like you see how i'm losing the purple that was just here i don't know if y'all see that i ain't had these problems the other day maybe i should have started with this uh not my journey color first how about that maybe that's what's happening so we'll bring back that purple if I want to put um not my journey on this eye but we already did it over here all right we done we just finished okay this is the eye look um I'm probably gonna go in with a moment in the inner tear duct but that's going to be after I finish my face all right so here's the eye makeup look it's looking it's looking <laughs> it's looking like it's looking so to prime my face i'm going in with the milk makeup hydro grip primer which every all the products i'm using i've already used in previous videos so i probably won't mention them all while i'm talking but yeah huh. but for everybody who like lost their job in this time i feel like this is time to revamp this is time for you to figure out what's next and not just only hope and be hopeful on your own job, I guess. Like, you're, How do I want to explain this? Like for people who lost their job, cause I know a lot of people like in uh, hospitality and people who are in um, like restaurants and you know, culinary and stuff like that. I know that a lot of you probably have lost your job or you know, are just everything is slow right now or you guys are just not making any money whatsoever and um i feel like right now is the time to re you know rethink what you want to do and it's not just those businesses i'm pretty sure like entrepreneurship businesses are going through the same thing right now and i just want to um send positive vibes y'all way because i know it's a struggle to go from you know being financially stable or having money coming in regularly to not having anything come in at all and i know that sucks you know um i mean i'm in a position where ain't no money coming in right now <laughs> so um I'm, i just want to say hang in there uh keep praying and everything is going to be fine everything is going to work out for the best in the, at the end of the day i'm so optimistic during this quarantine time i'm still claiming 2020 as my year and i hope that you guys um do the same thing you know what i mean like just grind i always forget this step which is color correcting i always start with putting on my foundation and then i completely forget that i needed to color correct first because i'm naturally darker or grayer in this area when it comes to taking pictures so i like to color correct but I know I could only speak for myself. I'm going to be as positive as possible and I'm gonna still make things happen for 2020 for myself. Cause it's been a struggle, especially not having a job. However, this time being unemployed has allowed me to work on Mel's Avenue. And I could honestly say I'm enjoying it and i can say that i really truly love creating content for you guys it's so much fun it's tiring yes but when you can look back at your work and other people are inspired by your work it feels good and it feels very rewarding so that's what i'm saying like capitalize on this time you guys you owe it to yourself to capitalize and to really like transform and do something for you you know what i mean like do something for you kill it for you you know what i mean so if there's a business that you want to start or maybe you want to start a youtube channel start it sis what you waiting on why are we why are we still contemplating start there are so many people who stop doing youtube every single day which means that there's another opportunity for you to come on this platform 
and to just perform. And if you are already on this platform and you want to get back, get back. You know what I mean? Or if you're a blogger, start writing again. You have the time, y'all have the time to start writing. <laughs> Everything that you that we've always said we don't have time for, like we have time now, friends. We have time. We have more than enough time. Time cannot be somebody's excuse anymore. Like, unless you're just choosing to be selfish right now and really work on yourself and grow as a person, because I can say that's the stage I'm in right now. But I still love my friends. I still love my family. But I'm not established yet. <laughs> and I'm working very hard to get to that point. And I hope that I could take you guys on this journey with me so that you guys can be inspired oh i have a lot of glue right here so that you guys can be inspired to want to do better too you know what i'm saying let me see if this makeup wipe will take it off and yeah for the most part that's all i'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm gonna try to motivate y'all but honestly Having somebody else motivate you is not the key to success. It's being disciplined. So if you want something, I advise you to learn how to be disciplined and then kill it. Just go off. Hopefully this inspires one of you guys to just do something. You know what I mean? Stop being lazy. Stop procrastinating. You have more time to do things. There's no reason that you should be procrastinating right now. Things look bad right now, but think about once things are good. Like think about when this time has passed and you're like, dang, I should have capitalized on that time that I had. Like you don't wanna wait. You don't wanna wait until that time is gone for you to realize like you should have capitalized. Like you should just take full advantage right now. Go off, go ham on whatever. If you want that summer body, cause we don't know what summer looking like right now, but take this time to just do home workouts and really mold and shape the body that you want you know what i'm saying like and then in the summertime just tell people don't talk to you because you're snatched duh <laughs> another thing that i want to talk about is take this time to just rest like if you are tired go to sleep you know what i mean or take this time for healing take this time i mentioned this in like an instagram caption um for my one of my recent posts just take this time to rest. Take this time to woo-saw, think about things, heal if you need to heal. If you are in a situation where you want to renew your relationship with God, I feel like this is a time. And speaking of God, I really think he's talking to us right now. And that's why I keep saying that this quarantine and this coronavirus, it all could be like this conspiracy theorist, um, theory, which I think it might be. But I also do feel like it's a blessing in disguise and God is talking to us like he's saying something. OK, and that's why I'm saying like you have to be positive because for him, this could be like a second chance of just renewing your relationship with him or acknowledging him or him proving to you and showing you, giving you a sign that he is God, period. Like that's why like I've been really counting my blessings again, even though I don't have a job like I want to say this is the most um, I've trusted God, even though like I'm really walking into the unknown. I have no idea what's next for me. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm going to continue to be consistent in terms of my work ethic, in terms of being disciplined and see where it takes me because, you know, you reap what you sow. So if you're putting in that discipline, you're putting in that work you're gonna sow greatness in the end. You may not see it right now. Like I said, we're walking into the unknown, but I don't know. I am a child of God and I'm really just waiting on what he got in store for a real one, okay? <laughs> Cause I know it's about to be fire. And I've been thanking him every single day. And I think that's mainly why I'm not trying to, like whenever I feel like coronavirus news is getting too much for me to bear, I just don't look at it. I don't watch it. I don't pay attention to it because they're out here to try to get us scared. And the Lord said, do not be afraid for he is with you for wherever you go. So y'all could do whatever y'all want, but he is still greater. And whatever his will is, is always going to come to pass no matter what. So that's why I'm choosing to be optimistic and to be positive and to stay positive 
and I just want you guys to do the same thing too because it's all we have you know being positive and being faithful that the Lord is going to provide that he's going to come through and he's going to give us the promises that he's promised us I really believe that like if he promised something to you he's going to give it to you just not when you want when you want it but you're gonna get it regardless so that's all i'm saying that is all i'm saying but another thing people could do in this time too is work on yourselves i mentioned that in one of my last videos how it's so important for self-growth and uh realizing things that you never really wanted to acknowledge I think it's very important to do so, especially in this time, because I know a lot of people are in their feelings, a lot of people are in their thoughts, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I could say or mention um, in today's Bible, I guess you could call it Bible study this morning. Um, what chapter did I read? I'm not going to lie, I don't remember. I believe it was John 11. John 11? Or was it John 12? Or was it John 10? Um, I don't remember the exact book. I'll just put it on the screen so you guys can see. But there was a moment where even though Jesus was about to perform a miracle, he still cried. Like he still felt emotion in that moment from seeing um, Mary ran and um, Mary came and ran to his feet and started crying because her brother Lazarus passed away. And it had been four days by the time God, I mean, by the time Jesus got there. And um, just by seeing Mary cry, it made Jesus cry. Like, it literally said Jesus wept. And it's so crazy to me because he's about to wake Lazarus up. <laughs> so it's okay. It's okay to feel. It's okay to have emotion. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the big dog did it. You know what I'm saying? So... Like I said before, cry if you have to cry. hack that I got from um naturally sunny here on YouTube I freaking love her I love her I love naturally sunny she's so genuine she's really sweet and she actually responds back to dms like if you're trying to have a conversation with her she'll actually entertain your conversation and she'll talk to you she'll actually talk to you like you are a human being okay as opposed to just ignoring your comments Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fix up my hair um, and I'll come back on camera uh, to give you guys my finished look. But again, about this quarantine, I hope that you guys are taking this time to really self-reflect and really take this time to see it as a blessing in disguise as opposed to it being negative. So I'm sending positive vibes to everyone and to just stay positive, stay safe, stay home. I can't stress this enough, we are not immune to this coronavirus, okay? Make sure you wash your hands, actually stay home and actually do social distancing because I know a lot of people, in terms of my friends, they're all hanging out, they all chilling and stuff like that and that's all cool, but I would prefer everybody to just stay home and be safe. 
it would be safer that way. Um, just my opinion, um, who am I, right, to say much, but I really do care about my loved ones, my friends, and my family, so I just hope that everybody's staying safe. So whatever it is that you want to do, take this time to do it. It doesn't matter if it's reading a book, going swimming, I, I don't care what it is, y'all, just do it and, and just stay positive and yeah, I don't know what else to say besides just stay positive, honestly. So right now I'm going to go fix my hair really quick, do some slow-mos, and that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching um, and sticking through with me. Um, we tried color yet again. I think I'm getting a little better because it came out really, really nice. I'm actually really proud of my work again today. Um, this was not really a tutorial. I was just using what I have here on my table and having fun with you guys and chilling, quarantine and chilling. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, come on. <laughs> my hair, it was perfectly fine just a minute ago. Dang on, but I'm not supposed to be eating cheese. My mom hasn't bought any toilet paper whatsoever because we always stock up from Costco where the cost is low. <laughs> Somebody come get the camera. <laughs> Maybe I should lift up my glasses down a little bit. Where's my um, other concealer? I like to mix my concealers. Where are you, sis? Did he lose you?